threat of violence hangs over Damascus now every day, just as much as other cities in Syria. But even given that, this was a huge explosion. People said they could hear it all over the city. Syrian state television ran continuous live pictures of the entire scene. The bombs were detonated at a big traffic intersection just before 8 o'clock local time at rush hour. When the shops pull out wider, it becomes evident that vehicles over a large area were completely destroyed or overturned. Some pictures show incinerated corpses of people sitting in their cars. The TV presenter wept as he said he knew people in the area. He said he'd been speaking to them just this morning before they took their children to school. The children themselves said they were terrified. We went to school when it happened. The girls are still there. They're frightened and they're crying. Initial reports had both sides in this blaming each other. The Syrian government repeated its usual line about it being the work of terrorist gangs trying to destabilize the country's infrastructure. The Free Syrian Army denied responsibility and activists were speculating if they actually had the capability to do something this big, let alone anything to gain from it. This is not the Free Syrian Army. It has no benefit, no advantage of doing that. It has no advantage of hurting the people that it was made to protect in the first place. Still, the people interviewed on state television instinctively and repeatedly blamed everyone from the FSA to the Emir of Qatar and the Prime Minister of Turkey. These are children going to school. They're carrying rulers and pencils. Are they fighting you with these things? Shame on you, Arabs. Why would someone put a bomb here? State TV said students were the target, but part of the Syrian security apparatus is housed nearby as well. The head of the United Nations monitors didn't apportion blame, but appealed as best he could for this to stop. We need everyone inside Syria, everyone outside Syria, to understand that this is going only to create more suffering for women, children, the Syrian people. Where insurgency ends and civil war begins is, in the end, a subjective judgment. But the fact is that the election in Syria changed absolutely nothing. It may already be too late for peace. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.